Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today we'll be talking about desktop that you might need to upgrade for your uh, YouTube video editing content. Now, I'll talk about my system that I recently upgraded to, that I put together, and then you can you know, use it or you can maybe do a better job. But here it is, okay? I'll tell you the scenario. What happened was uh, a couple of days ago, I had, I used to have, anyway, Gateway uh, Quad Core computer system with 8 gig RAM. Okay, it was a touch screen. Is, uh, I think it's 24 inch touch screen. And um, I've been replacing the, <coughs> excuse me, um, the uh, fan because it's always overheat, right? So I, I, I open up the back and replace a fan in there. Actually, you know, other than its own fan, I put another fan in there. In fact, two more fan to keep it going for, you know, running for at least eight hours each time, right? Otherwise, I find that just the fan itself that it, it has will break down, you know, will turn itself off after 20 to 30 minutes. That's really bad. It was a bad design on Gateway's part. So that's why, um, you know, I put install this uh, two fan in there. And it was good, right? And uh, I did that every six months and this is the second time right that I had to install it and uh, you know I just I, you know, I didn't have time to uh, bit, buy another of those um, you know 12 volt fan to put it in again so I decided um, you know I might, might as well upgrade to a new system right so the main computer that I'm having now <coughs> I just upgrade to is, is quite awesome actually this is a, um, a Dell T 7400 I believe uh, now don't worry about the the, uh, the frame structure of the desktop what's important is that um, what the desktop can handle in other words the power supply the the structure of that uh, tower desktop um, the reason I picked this one is because you have so many options to put the video cards the hard drive um, and it's you know solidly built it's a it's a metal and, and casing and it's easy, you can slip it all out and then you put all these cards in there, like video cards and all that. So many ways to upgrade and so many ways to put the RAM in there. Anyway, the, the thing with this uh, desktop, I asked the uh, computer company to put it up for me. It has um, a Xeon E5600 series, um, 8 core CPU. So that's awesome. Right? Now, Xeon, you might have heard of, is <laughs> but not mainly in the consumer market but more of the uh, um, mid-range uh, business market that's where they usually use it for um, so I decided to go with a mid-range type of um, computer system you know because I'm now moving up a little bit more into uh, you know doing 1080p and 2.7k or even 4k videos so this is the type of spec I need like a higher end type of uh, processor to eight core processors Okay, so that's, you know, it's okay, that spec is okay. In, in fact, it's quite decent about five to seven years ago. Um, I remember looking at this spec. This was the same spec that is using in uh, animation studios, right? Like the, the company that makes um, all these animation for Disney and Pixar. Okay, if you check this spec, there was an article actually published by one of the, um, the, the um, magazines. And it talked about, you know, what kind of... Uh, computer this animation studio makes and I was following their specs and I'm like oh I'm so happy you know even though the computer is about uh, five to seven years ago you know the movie like say um, Mulan and all the uh, animation that was done five to seven years ago was quite good right e for even today's standard so I think that spec that'd be great if I can have that spec so now I have it uh, so I'll tell you the price later on until I'm gonna mention all the spec so it's an 8 core CPU okay Xenon X E O N. If not familiar with the uh, the CPU, um, the i7 is good too. You can even get a 16 core system, but I'm settled with 8 core. Okay, so that's the CPU. The um, the RAM, right? I have a 64 gig RAM on this system. That's quite amazing. Now remember, I told you that the uh, the um, the gateway that I had the quad the quad core Intel system, I had only 8 gig gig RAM. It was okay, you know, it does a, a pretty good job for 1080p, right? But now I have a 64 gig RAM, okay? Not hard drive, this is the RAM, 64 gig. Okay, so that's the RAM. And then 
regarding the um, video cards, very important as well. Video cards, I, I, I went with the Quadro, Quadro Nev, Nevdia Quadro 5000, okay? Now this is a very good card for CAD program and as well as um, for video editing. It's actually industry standard, right? Used in Animation Studio, like I, I mentioned before. It has 2.7 gig RAM now. Now modern, modern days video cards, you know, they have a 4 to 8 gig now, the, the high end one. And you say, well, 2.7, so little. But remember, those for gaming, this is for video editing. So this special card, the Quadro 5000, it was meant specifically for CAD program and for video editing and animation. So it's a little bit a different ball game than say, you know, those uh, uh, gaming cards, right? Now this Quadro 5000 can still play gaming, but it's not gonna be the good for, the best anyway for gaming, but it's great for video editing and CAD program. Vice versa, you have those uh, video uh, gaming cards when they do these type of tasks, the video editing, and um, CAD program, it, it's, it okay. it's okay, right? So again, it depends on what you are using it for. If you are a gamer that does uh, YouTube videos, then you might want to get those modern cards. But if you are like me, who just like to do video editing on everything, then of course Quadro 5000 it would be awesome to have, okay? So that's my system. You have, <laughs> excuse me, uh, Xeon 8-core processor, 64 gig RAM, um, a Quadro 5000 video cards. And then now the one mistake that I made was I should have made the hard drive, SSD hard drive. That would have made it much faster. I mean, at least like, you know, 50% more efficient, right? So if I would have had that instead of um, my standard hard drive, I, I would have made my system much faster. But you know, I at that time I wasn't thinking when I asked the, the person to put the computer system back uh, together for me. I should have asked for the SSD hard drive. It might have cost me a couple hundred more, right? Maybe put in maybe like a, a 400 gig SSD car, uh, card hard drive or maybe even a 300 gig, you know, something that will put in the main uh, Windows 7 Pro in there and then a couple of main uh, application programs. And then the rest of them I'll have a secondary or tertiary hard drive, right? And, you know, maybe one or two gig that can, you know, store the, the data and information in there. That would have been the, the best choice. But what I ended up doing was I was cheap on that hard drive. I only put in, I think, 500 or 750 gig hard drive, the standard hard drive. And then I was thinking of, you know, later on I can just put in, hook up a USB um, uh, 2.0 or 3.0 USB hard drive and you know copy all the file once it's full into that but you know again that's you know being cheap right <laughs> should have done the other way around SD, SSD card hard drive first install your uh, Windows 7 Pro and then main uh, application and then the rest of other you know data like video content and all you can save it onto your know, secondary hard drive or third tertiary hard drive that would be my recommendation. That's why my, 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 I'm just telling you my mistake. I hope you don't follow the same thing. Make sure you have the SSD hard drive instead and it'll speed up your computer for sure. Okay, so you can see the spec is, is optimal. Even though this spec is like five to seven years old spec for, remember, this is not for consumer spec. This is actually the, the business high-end animation studio back five to seven years ago, which is for us is worthwhile. Remember, this system back five to seven years ago would have been worth close to $10,000 US, right? So you can see now, I, my system actually, um, when I was able to put in together, this was six months ago, and now I was able to just um, hook it up. Because I bought it six months ago and didn't, didn't have time, uh, right, to put it together. And uh, it cost me only 1000 That system that I just uh, quoted you, it's $1,000. So I ended up also buying a monitor as well. I bought a BenQ um, IPS e, uh, LED, 27 inch screen okay it's a pretty good spec I can't remember the model I'll put the link on the bottom um, it has one over 1 billion color and it's a 2.7 K monitor okay it's not a 4k but it's good enough for for what I'm doing because I am mainly doing 1080p and and um, so I haven't gone to 4k yet so I have tried actually watching a 4k on, uh, on my 2.7 K and I can tell you 
it is as nice okay so in fact I would recommend 2.7k um, if you you know if you're <coughs> still at 1080p and you're thinking of switching 4k you can compromise 2.7k I think it's fine in fact a lot of movie made uh, I think at least uh, five years ago in a big theater the most movie are in a 2.7k anyway when they project it on the big screen Okay, back about five to ten years ago, you know, even back then in, in the 2000s, uh, most movies still at 2.7K. So, <coughs> for YouTube, that's, <laughs> you know, you know, more than adequate. Okay, anyway, so that monitor cost me a little bit more. I, I should make, make uh, look for better deals, but it cost me about, <coughs> excuse me, two, uh, $550. So, altogether, my system cost less than $1,600. Yep. <coughs> excuse me. So, very, very good system. Well, I'll put the spec here and on the bottom um, and you can check that out. Alright, thanks for watching. Educate2.com